Final day of a long road trip for the Copperheads was not a good one as they come out with a 15 to four defeat at the hands of the Stark County Terriers. It began early in this ball game as Tyler Isbell was a starter. He gave up 10 earned runs in the first three innings of the ball game. And with Southern Ohio trailing 10 to nothing, they went down pretty quick and pretty easily in this one. The good news is that there was a new guy on the hill. He performed very well. His name was Zach Espinito. He went four innings, gave up just one earned run. And late in the ball game, Southern Ohio found a way to throw four runs on the board. They didn't matter in the end, but Southern Ohio did show some life at the end. Maybe that can help. After the game, I talked to head coach Chris Moore and also outfielder Bryce Nicketser about how this game played out. This loss really shouldn't concern anyone. I mean, we've been on the road since Monday. And I mean, we played well. They just got a couple lucky hits. And I mean, they drove the ball well, but they had a bunch of infield hits that didn't really go our way. So I mean, I really, there's really no room for concern. Obviously, obviously, anytime you don't play well, it's it, it's a little bit of a cause for concern. But the bottom line is, we we've had probably the roughest stretch uh, of anybody in the country uh, with, with with this uh, with this kind of seven day stretch. And, and I think probably you saw some tired some tired guys today. I don't think there's any doubt about that. And and you know, I know as a coach, I'm tired, and so and I don't do anything. And so you know, <laughs> if, if I if I'm tired, I know the players are tired. And and so um, you know, that, I think there's a little bit to do with that. But you know, frankly, it's a grind. And so when we show up at the park, we expect we expect guys to do well. So. So, um, you know, they're, they're, we're kind of on both sides of that a little bit. But, uh, you know, I, I think, I'll be honest with you, the All-Star break's coming up. We have three days for you to get these guys some rest. I, I think that'll do these guys a, a heck of a lot of good. Following the defeat, Southern Ohio falls to 14-8 and so far this season. And they are still in third place as of right now in the GLSCL standings. Now, moving forward, it'll be the All-Star break first and foremost. This Wednesday, you can go out to Avon, Ohio to check out four of your Copperheads as they play in that All-Star game. And then after that, on Friday is when the Copperheads will continue their season. They'll finally be back at Bob Wren Stadium. It'll be firework night and parents weekend as they take on Licking County Friday night. So make sure you get out to the ballpark for that. And hey, if you can't be there, you can always listen in to Jacob Corgan and myself as we bring you all the action on CopperheadBaseball.com. And also, as I always say, make sure you look into all of our media, the Twitter page, the Facebook page, and most importantly, look for Copperheads Baseball on YouTube. With that being said, I'm Ryan Boyd, and the Copperheads have lost this one 15-4.